Pretoria Church were ordered to consume live snakes. They were told the snakes would become and taste like chocolate. Now, Prophet Penuel, the man who ordered these churchgoers to, to eat the snakes, has also in the past asked them to drink petrol and eat cloths. Mm. So, there's <coughs> that that's mm. happening. He's a joker. <laughs> He's a, he's a joker. You know, he ain't I a pastor, he's a practical joker. That's what he is. I should go to church more because <laughs> clearly I'm missing out on some of the fun. Of course, yeah. Eating petrol. snakes. Oh, petrol. No, petrol. petrol. That's a bit expensive. That <laughs> drink. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't they just buy a Coke? But if he can, yeah, but if he can, if he can persuade a whole... Do you imagine what he could do with his girlfriends if he can get... If you can get a whole congregation to eat stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be funny. He can tell his girlfriend, this is going to, love, it's going to taste like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to taste like chocolate, darling. It's going to be good for you, and it's going to taste like chocolate. Delicious. Jesus told yum, me yum. you better on your knees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what Jesus would want. Now, what would you do if someone told you to eat a snake? Well, many people have <laughs> told me to eat a snake. Well, gobble, to. gobble, 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 gobble. No, my twenties. I miss those years. No, if I'm in China or something, yeah. If I'm in a Chinese restaurant in China, I probably would eat. But fine. they weren't fried or baked. But, but no, they were live, oh, live snakes. Live and, he's got, snakes. and he's got a history. You go, oh, not what is it this week? <laughs> yeah. You go in and you go, right, he's done the cloth. He's done the petrol, he's done, what's he doing? But there seems to be snakes, oh. There seems to be no connection to between any of the, like, what's the cloth, petrol, yeah. and snakes. He There's just, nothing. He just looks around the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he gets up and looks around the house. What have I got? Cloths, got some petrol, <laughs> got some snakes. <laughs> I'll take a snake in. I'd have thought for this, and his wife's going, no, they, 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 they will. They love me, this church. They love me. Yeah. They're going to go for snakes. Peter can't be happy. No. P-E-T-A. Yeah. P-E-T-A. Can't be happy no. about that. Oh, I thought you meant snakes. Uh, how many? I mean, where did he get that many snakes from? Like, I don't know. Where do you get that many that snakes? That is also a worrying question. Yeah. <laughs> Except that lady doesn't look like she's having a good time at yeah, all. No, no. She doesn't. She doesn't want to. She looks like he's. Do you really get it all the way, all the way through him? <laughs> <laughs> and he cleans her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like a pipe cleaner. Yeah. That's what it basically is. He goes through one end, he holds the other end, and he says, grab hold of the other end, and then we just clean you out. It's a cleansing exercise. Yeah. There we go. There we go. What advice do you have for this pastor? Just keep Stop. going, mate. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. What's what? Next? What, what, what? Yeah. Keep us posted, my what, friend. What brilliant. could be next? What do you think? Oh, hairballs, maybe. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we're done with animals now. I think we should move on to something else. Maybe we should... Yeah, don't put the poor animals through that. They didn't ask to be there. That's Stones, true. True. rocks. I'm trying to think animal, yeah, yeah. Uh, animal vegetable, mineral. There was a pastor once who made his congregation eat yeah. grass. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 testing their faith. Yeah. What's your advice for the uh, churchgoers? <laughs> well, sell tickets. <laughs> sell tickets. This guy is great. You won't <laughs> believe. Because no, but the, he could be. You could go. Look, if you're if you're a salesman, go and watch this guy. Because if if he, if you can get people to do this, you can sell them double glazing. Anything, anything. You can sell them anything. Yeah. This just need a little faith. You should work for Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know what our comedians think. Of this odd story, let us know what you think in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.